Now that you have created a design and you want to 3D print it, we have a few tips for you. First, the way the 3D printer works is it goes layer by layer, starting at the base that is touching the ground or your work plane. So if there's any object that is floating in air, what will happen is the 3D printer will do something that we call making spaghetti. Your design will not have anything attached to it, and so your 3D printer will just make these spaghetti lines and you won't have a usable print. So if we are taking an object like this house that you see in front of you, and you can see that it is just floating here in midair, the most simple way to fix this is by hitting D on your keyboard and dropping it to your work plane. Now when you go to 3D print, it's going to start with this base layer and make contact with the ground. So the first design decision you need to make sure is that your object is touching the floor of your work plane. Now there's another rule in 3D printing and it's called reducing your overhangs. So an overhang is this over here. As you can see with this object that I've made, part of it is touching the ground, which is great but there's all of this space underneath the top of this object. Once again, it's floating in the air, so it's gonna create that spaghetti string that I just said earlier. So the way that you would fix it is rotating your object, putting as much of the surface area onto the work plane. Doing this, make sure that your print comes out well and exactly how you designed it. Some other things that you might wanna consider is making sure that there's not too much detail for your design. Having a lot of small details on your object may look cool, but the printer may have some difficulty printing it out. So when you're looking at your design in Tinkercad and you're going to 3D print, make sure you just take out some of those smaller details. Speaking about size, that's another thing that you should consider when making your object. Now, Tinkercad kind of works like our eyes. If an object is far away, it looks really small. If an object is closer, it looks much larger. You should always check the dimensions of your object before printing. Typically, 3D printers and Tinkercad is in default in millimeters. So it is important to double check your dimensions and make sure that the size of your object is what you want it to be printed out in real life. Also know that when you're 3D printing, the bigger the object is, the more time it will take to print. Same thing with details. The more details you have on your object, the longer it will take to print. Going back to overhangs, I have two examples to show you. So here we have created a 3D rocket. As you can see underneath the wings, you see a little bit of that uh, spaghetti that I was talking about. This is because the printer didn't have anything to latch onto when we were printing. So I'm gonna show you the same design, but when we added supports. So here with the de design, you can see the supports are these little uh, plastic pieces underneath the wing. They tear off very easily. And now, but as you can see, my wing comes out a little bit nicer at the end. That is another thing to consider when 3D printing. One last thing to think about when you're moving your design from Tinkercad to your 3D printer is to check around your work plane. You don't want to have any excess shapes in the background or underneath the work plane. So over here, you can see this pyramid that's not on my work plane. I want to make sure I delete that before moving forward. Anything on your work plane or in your design file will be moved over to your 3D printer. And so if there's any excess shapes that you didn't want initially, but you didn't remove them, they will show up when you start 3D printing. These are just some tips to help you go from the design stage to the printing stage. We can't wait to see what you make next.